Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top three miners I suggest for mining Bitcoin in your home for this winter. So winter of 2025 going into 2026. Um, it is like November right now. Uh, the first one that I suggest, and this is gonna be a smaller, lower power device, um, does about six tera hash on SHA-256, which is Bitcoin, is the Avalon Nano 3S. And specifically, it's the S model. So there's a Nano 3, and then there's a Nano 3S. So the 3S, I have it right here. It's on my nightstand, blowing towards my bed. It's nice, especially in the wintertime. Uh, but only 140 watts, like I said, at full power or max power. You can turn it down to a medium or a low if you want to run it at a lower wattage. Um, but now as for like profitability, especially with Bitcoin being down, you know, in the $90,000 range, I'm at 14 cents per kilowatt hour. These are not profitable to mine on a pool. What I'm doing with mine, which I would imagine most people are doing, is called solo mining. So I have mine mining trying to solve a Bitcoin block all by itself. Is it going to solve that block? Probably not. But if it does, there will be signs because a Bitcoin block is worth over three Bitcoin right now. And even at $90,000, that's a significant amount of money, almost $300,000 total. Um, now your odds of hitting that are ridiculous. You can look up like a solo chance or uh, BTC solo calculator, and you can type in the hash rate of the device you're looking at buying. And then the uh, it'll give you your odds like per day, per week, per year. Uh, the odds with one of these devices is like, you know, something thousands of years. But the thing is, there's devices that have less hash rate than these that have already hit solo blocks. So um, it's not impossible, just very unlikely. Uh, these things are going, uh, I think in the high $200 range. I will put a, um, a discount code and link down below in the description if you're interested. Now, if you're looking to step up from here into a bigger mining device that puts off more heat that you can help you know, supplement some of your, uh, your heat for winter time, let's move on to probably my favorite home mining device which is actually over here in, in my, uh, behind my couch. So let me flip it around for you guys. Guys, don't mind the clothes. Just doing a little bit of laundry, but behind my couch lies a secret. And that is the Avalon Q from Can-Am. So made from the same company that made that Nano 3S. And as you can hear, it's absolutely silent. So the exhaust comes out of the back side. Let me go over here and show you the front side. Now this device can put some power down. There it is. So intake right here, exhaust on the other side. I have plenty of room for it to exhaust and get out of there. So it's not overheating, um, but there are multiple modes you can run it in. Right now, since it's not super cold outside, I have mine in eco mode. So it's running a little over 800 watts and it's doing a little over 50 terahash. So almost, you know, 10 times the uh, hash rate of the Nano 3S, but at about eight times or, you know, seven and a half times the power. So these are super, super efficient. Uh, now, obviously these are gonna cost you a little bit more and set you back price-wise, but that's only in eco mode. You can turn this up to super or full power um, and they'll do somewhere in the range of 90 tera hash um, and I believe it's at like 1700 watts, uh, give or take. So um, let's go over to the computer and pull up the profitability of this here in a second. But before that, I wanted to show you one of my last recommendations for like the top three home miners, in my opinion. All right, so my third and final recommendation and probably one of my favorites, I have multiple of these now, is the Magic Miners. So it looks like a graphics card, but you actually do not need to put it into a computer. You can put it on a stand, set it up somewhere. All you need to do is supply it with PCIe power. So um, either, whether you take like a ASIC power supply or an old um, ATX power supply, anything that has that six plus two pin, you can plug it into there and this can run independent. It'll actually show the hash rate and your wattage over on this display right here. These fans spin and keep it cool. It does have Wi-Fi or you can connect it to Ethernet. 
and it is not an actual video card so you don't get any video display out there's two different models of these there's a um, higher power model that does seven terahash at about a little over 200 watts and then there's a lower power model that does four terahash at a little over 100 watts so uh, depending on you know what you're looking for power wise in my opinion these are still both in that um, it's like solo mining category uh, but really cool really cool desk ornament because you can buy like a GPU stand and since these have a real GPU IO bracket and the PCI Express slot is where a GPU normally would be. Um, you can put these in a GPU stand and, you know, set it on your desk and have it running uh, and be an absolute, you know, like conversation starter or like desk ornament that's also mining a little bit of Bitcoin or solo mining Bitcoin. So let's jump on the computer and show you guys like profitability or not profitability of some of these things at a residential electric rate and see why uh, some of these are just better to run in solo mode or with the Avalon Nano Q, you can actually run them and potentially make a little bit of money as well. All right, guys, so going back and starting from the top with the Avalon Nano 3S, the six terahash model, specifically the S model. If you get a regular Avalon Nano 3, they don't run as well. They're not as stable uh, and I've had multiple that have had issues overheating. Both of my Nano 3S's, not a single problem. Definitely recommend them. Now, what they bring in per day, 23 cents per day of Bitcoin, but they're burning 47 cents at my electric rate, which is 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, so if you were mining on a pool and selling, uh, you would be losing 24 cents a day, essentially. Um, now you could mine and just stack it. You'd be stacking $6.88 a month or $83 a year. Now, in the summertime, this is going to be working against you because it is going to be burning that power and putting off a little bit of heat, which you're going to have to counteract inside your house with air conditioning. In the wintertime, that heat is just a bonus and helps you offset some of your heating. Obviously, 140 watts is not much, but if you had like a small, you know, maybe a small office or even putting it in your closet, it might be able to help a little bit. Now, going down to, let's see here. Uh, some of the other coins, you could mine some BCH or some Fractal uh, or even do some Bitcoin too and potentially get some better yields. Uh, but now, in my opinion, I'm not going to worry about this 23 cents a day in Bitcoin when I'm going to leave mine on solo. And if it hits that Bitcoin block, then I'll enjoy those three full Bitcoins. Um, so... Yeah, anyway, changing gears, let's go talk about the Avalon Q. So the Q, right now at 14 cents per kilowatt hour, it is making $3.44 a day, but it's burning $5.62 a day. So it is actually still losing money as well uh, with, with the fact that Bitcoin is down. Um, so full, full power is 90 terahash at that, like I said, almost 1700 Watts. It's 1674 Watts, uh, absolute awesome machine. Even when you have it turned up into super mode, um, sounds basically like you have a light desk fan going nothing like a traditional ASIC, um, nothing that puts this kind of hash rate out sounds anything as quiet as an Avalon Nano Q in my opinion and you guys can definitely comment down below now I do have jazz miners and stuff and they are quiet but they don't mind Bitcoin I'm specifically talking about Bitcoin miners in this video um but yeah so you'd be making about 100 bucks a month or 1200 dollars a year but like I said in the summertime you are going to have to deal with this 1600 watts of thermal load and that's a decent amount of thermal load i have this one running in my living room behind my couch um, and it right now with it not being a very cold winter i haven't had to use heat in my house at all and it's dipped down you know in the 40s and 50 degree fahrenheit at night so um this thing has been helping a lot and also i like the fact that you can turn it down into an eco mode which runs at about half the mining speed and about half the power if you don't need as much heat output. And that's how I'm using mine right now. Um, so yeah, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now, am I solo mining with mine? I am not. I'm actually uh, mining Bitcoin too with mine. So um, I'm just trying to stack alternate coins and um, this bad boy is able to actually hit some blocks. Whereas 
some of those lower power devices just have a lot, lot worse odds. So yeah, but anyway, going back, let's look at the magic miner. Oh, the magic miner's not even on here. Hmm. Okay. Well, BTC mining calculator. We'll just put the, put the stats in ourselves. So the big one is seven terahash at, I think it's 220 watts. And our cost on electricity is 14 cents. Calculate that mining profit. We're losing 47 cents per day. We're making 27 cents. It's making just slightly more than in the Nano 3, but it's burning a decent amount more power. So Magic Miner, in my opinion, is more aesthetically pleasing um, than the Nano 3S. The Nano 3S is still awesome, uh, more modern. You could probably slot it into more places and it wouldn't, wouldn't look like you have a Bitcoin miner. But if you want something that looks cool, and like a desk ornament or something that I've even seen where people hang these up on the wall and have them mining, uh, the Magic Miner is definitely that. So if you wanted to, you know, get somebody like a, a Christmas gift and they were a gamer, uh, I feel like the Magic Miner is definitely the way to go. But anyway, guys, thanks for reaching out. I do have some discount codes for some of these products. They're going to be down below in the description. So if you want to snag one of them, definitely do it. And I really, I do appreciate it because most of them are affiliate links. Um, other than that, y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. And if you have any of these devices, please drop it down below and let me know how you like them. Uh, if you don't have any of these devices, but you have something else and you recommend it, also let me know down below. All right, guys. Good night.